Hello everybody, Sanir, Engineer, MBA, and Investor. And in today's video, we have breaking news. As of this morning, when everybody woke up, at least in the Eastern time in America, we got the news at 6.30 a.m. Eastern, November 7, that Verve Therapeutics have been put on clinical trial hold by the FDA. So this is their press release. Um, from Verve Therapeutics officially saying um, Verve 101 investigational new drug application placed on hold by the US FDA. And of course, uh, it, they announced this as uh, the FDA has placed a hold on its IND application to conduct clinical trial evaluating Verve 101 in patients. Okay, so the company expects to receive an official letter with the FDA questions within 30 days. The, Verve plans to provide updates at pending engagement with the FDA and tends to work closely with the FDA to resolve the hold as promptly as possible in order to initiate dosing in the US. And this letter actually came about on the Friday of November 4th. So obviously last business day of the week. Uh, and of course, uh, the company was forced to disclose this this morning on a Monday there the following week. So what happened to the stock? Well, all I have to do is show you guys this screen, right? Stock is down 30%. That is huge. Company market cap dropped well below where it was. It was about to over $2 billion. People were saying how it was overvalued. And today it's sitting well below that. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, 1.3 billion, probably less than that tomorrow. We'll see a lot a more, a bigger drop there as it even dropped another 1% over after markets there what are my thoughts well guys i want to remind viewers a couple of things so first of all last week we made a two-part video series about how their latest preclinical data on verve 101 was questionable it was on monkeys so non-human primates and the data was questionable. There were some weird things going on with the data. We talked about it. If you guys recall part one of that, those two videos, I talked about it. Uh, I addressed it. Again, I, it was a live reaction as the news came in. I was reading Biotech 2K1 trade and I actually got some pushback from some viewers telling me, you know, this is just preclinical. Humans data is going to be better. Human data is always better. I'm just quoting what people told me, right? And clearly, Clearly, there was something there because this morning, the FDA, you know, putting this on uh, on hold obviously means something, right? This is extremely similar to what happened with Beam 201. Uh, but the difference is that Beam 201 at least has Beam 101 going for them. And of course, they have licensed their technology to a company like Verve. Uh, in contrast, Verve literally just has Verve 101 right now, and it's being put on hold. So... And it's not even their technology and they're sharing this technology with beam therapeutics of course licensing it out so they pay royalties and future commercial sales on it but that's beside the point the point here is this company this CRISPR company now has their single program being put on hold by the fda and of course that's going to take 30 days before the fda gives official uh, an official statement as to what they require from this company and of course it's going to go back and forth for months just look at what's going on with beam 201 you don't need to look elsewhere just look exactly what's going on with beam 201 so i've gotten mixed reviews from several people several folks have told me you know this is going to be fine this is the perfect time for the fda to drill down on these companies because one you're weeding out uh the investors who really you know the whales as you can say that poured a lot of money and, and had this short squeeze on these companies. Um, and I have the other side where people are actually quite uh, bearish on this company. I think people have realized that Verve Therapeutics data is not really that much of a better data than you, your alternatives. And there are some sort of alternatives in this heart disease space. It's an extremely competitive space, like I mentioned last week and it makes total sense it is the leading cause of that in america it's like if i tell you you know uh t-shirts business right t-shirts clothing business clothing business is so competitive as well as restaurants for example they're so competitive just think about how many brands there are of clothing 
And just think about like, for example, restaurant, there's so much competition, the margins are so slow. Uh, and that's why in business one on one really is never, 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 if you, if you have the chance and the opportunity, never venture in a business where there's so much saturation and competition is at, at all time high, because what's going to happen is you're going to go into very low margins unless you have a revolutionary product and you can really set it out from the public. Um, there's really no hope for you. I mean, at this point, and we are sort of seeing that for Verve One Hundred and One. I mean, their data was few percents better than the median average for statins or um, for the the drug that we mentioned in uh, last week's video. Again, two parts video. Highly recommend you guys to watch those two videos. Um, but there's something here to be said. I mean, look, if these companies had a short squeeze. I mean, these companies are operating in a recession right now and you're promising the world to people, although your data is not really showing that. Um, and I, I think, you know, there it's a, it's a two edged sword. I mean, uh, one side, I was pushing these companies to be dosing patients and they are going forward with this, by the way, like uh, their heart one trial update. Look at this clinical from the data from the on guard heart, heart one study in New Zealand and uh, UK were not included in the IND package submitted to the FDA. So this is not included. Uh, they complete their dosage for the first dose cohort uh, for to well tolerated all three patients, uh, no serious adverse events. Uh, and there's an independent board that's going to uh, look at uh, a recommendation for dose escalation to the planned second dose. And of course, they're going forward with this in the second half of 2023. Uh, with all those cohorts escalation for heart one study so they're going forward with this and i respect that right i respect a company that gets their hands dirty and go go forward with that uh but there's something to be said here about doing things the right way uh you you take your time but you do the thing at the right time you do it well and you do it the right way and unfortunately, it looks like the FDA did not believe that Verb 101 was doing things the right way, at least for the IND submissions that were submitted by Verb uh, 101, specifically by Verb Therapeutics. So really, really interesting, guys. This is really breaking news. I mean, I don't think we've had this much of a shock. Beam 201 was a shock, but not really. When you think about it, Beam 101 is still there. And Beam as a company has always was stood out as a platform. Verve is all about editing therapeutics, human therapeutics, right? And if your only single up and running only program is put on FDA all this early in the process, there are some red flags. I mean, um, on the bright side, you know, they, I love how they mentioned here, well capitalized with 500 million supporting runway into second half of 2025. I wonder if they would have put this sentence set, supporting runway into second half of 2025 if it wasn't for the FDA hold. Who knows, right? Uh, but this is breaking news, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Curious to see what you guys think. Was I wrong last week? Were my doubts wrong? Were Biotech 2Ks one doubts right? Because clearly we had doubts and we were questioning. And uh, it looks like the FDA did something here extremely bold uh, because obviously it is going to affect this company negatively and it will affect its investors. But maybe this is, this is what had to happen for these companies to progress forward. Maybe this is this is exactly according to plan, right? We'll see what happens. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like this video, fan value, subscribe if you're not, and hopefully I, you guys are enjoying this beautiful Monday. Lots of drama. Hopefully a lot more this week. I'll see you guys.